What if you could show your CNC machine where you want to drill some holes and it would come over and just drill them? Or show it where to cut a slot, placing them near the holes you drilled. What if CNC operations were as simple as placing a piece of paper that shows what you want, where you want it? Want to cut a circle? There it is. What if everyday operations like cutting a pocket were just a matter of showing your machine where you want the pocket, its size, shape, orientation? And what if you weren't limited to those simple operations, but you could also show your machine more complex geometry, such as a bow tie inlay, and it would perform complex tool paths that match what it sees? Then we could compose these operations together to create more complex parts and finished projects. Hi, I'm Brett, and I'm making paper tool software to hopefully make our CNC lives a little bit easier. I'll show you how all this works today with paper tools. First off, I've mounted a standard issue 1080p webcam to my spindle, facing downward toward my material, so wherever my machine goes, my camera goes and can see what I'm working on. And I have here some printed squares I call targets. They have labels and some associated drawings and code that show me what I'm going to get when I use it. Since it's paper and I use it to cut something, I call this a paper tool. I printed it on vellum, which is nice because I can see through it, which lets me position my slot where I want it and later confirm I got what I asked for. The paper tool software runs on the same computer as my CNC controller. It shows me a camera view with computer vision that picks up any square targets which I can click to select. The software will navigate my machine, which means it moves my machine so the camera is over the targets. The software saves a video frame and its computer vision automatically labels the targets and picks up any nearby code which we can use later for our cuts. Press run and the machine will cut the slot it saw. Then the paper tool comes in handy to double check we got what we asked for. How's this going so far? Need another example? All right. How about this time we'll try a pocket and I'll take you through all the same steps. Put the paper tool where you want it, navigate to the selected targets, Click the program step for the pocket and hit run. The pocket's cut where the camera saw it. You've still got questions. What does that code printed beneath actually do? Does this thing even make G-code? How can I see what it's going to cut? How does it know where the tool is if the camera is mounted some distance away? Okay, okay, I'll answer all of these, but let's get to it in the course of actually making something. I'll make a frame for this piece of art and we can do some constructive as well as some decorative elements as we go. Check this out. I can use the magnifying glass in paper tools to navigate to the corners of the art. Once I've got the art position right where I want it, I zoom in and click the corner. No square targets this time. Just click to move the camera over a single pixel. It's accurate to about three thousandths of an inch. There's no label, so I give it one. I'll call this Art TL for top left. As before, I get a captured frame and my target, which we'll reference later. I can also give my frame a name, just so I keep organized. I'm repeating this for the other corners, and I can use the magnifying glass after navigation to check the position and tweak it a bit if I need to. I'll use my pocket paper tool, and there are different examples I can refer to. In this case, I want to make a rectangle with three of the targets. So I can scan that with the camera and then I can just replace the P1, P4 with my art, BL, art corners. There's actually an even simpler way to do this. I can ask the AI assistant to make a pocket using those exact corners that I got with the camera and it'll generate the code that I need and I can just copy it and paste it in there. I didn't ask it for a depth, so it gave me a little question mark I can replace with the depth I want to use. The main point here is start to finish. This is really fast to make a pocket. I can preview my G code. I can bring that in and check out the tool path, all the normal things I would do. Bottom line is I'm ready to cut my pocket on this rectangle. And we're looking pretty good. I mean, we've got a good fit here. So let's do something more decorative. I'll try to make a slot let me copy this pocket code and I'm going to ask it to make a slot that's offset from the pocket, let's say, um, I don't know, by an eighth of an inch here. So I give it the code and it gives me back my new code. You'll notice it, uh, once again, it didn't give me a depth so I can tell it what, how deep I want it to go. Let's try something like 0.05. So this is weird. It looks like it's, it's cutting like deeper at that far corner. I think I've got something stuck under there. Let me, let me get it out. 
And I also think I want to go deeper in general. Let's go to 0.08. You know, looking at this, I'm not crazy about these decorative edges that the project panel came with. So let's cut those off. Now look, I can pick this up and put it down as much as I want. It's really quick to scan the corners of my art again. No matter where I place this material, I can cut a rectangle around it that's always gonna line up with the original artwork position. Thanks goes to the artist Chow Zen for the artwork and for painting the frame for me. Helps that she's also my wife. Couple things I might do differently. I didn't love this wood. I'd get next time maybe a walnut or a cherry or a nicer wood. For this video, I really wanted to show basic operations like pockets, slots, drills, but I could also make my own picture frame paper tool and that would have all of the pockets and decorative elements built in and I could reuse that over and over just by scanning a few of the points along the corners. Only one thing left to do, clean up. When you know it, I've got a paper tool for that too. You can use any camera with paper tools, or you can find one at papertools.ai as well as the latest software downloads. Happy chopping.